I have my nerves kicking in. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. She's milking me. That's my mommy. Uh, so, uh, mama's wife. Mama's wife, yeah. She's milking. Oh. We will film later. It's family time. <laughs> Namaste, my friends. I hope you understand what a special event meeting Nani for the first time was for me. All my grandparents have unfortunately already died, and my last grandparent, my dada, and actually my father too, passed away just a few months before Vinod and I got married. It just kills me that they never got to meet each other. So meeting Nani, who is also Vinod's last living grandparent, was a very emotional moment for me and that is also why I chose to keep it private. Nani is our best link to past generations, lots of memories and family history, so I really wanted to be sincere, respectful and off the camera when I greeted her for the first time, brought her my traditional gifts as an Indian Bahu and touched her feet which is actually something that I pretty much don't do for anyone else. I had been waiting for this meeting for so many years, and so had Nani, and I am so happy to say that we had such a good time together. I loved meeting her, and she welcomed me to the family. Unfortunately, I have some issues with filming on my new iPhone in the villages, so there aren't clips of all the many wonderful moments that we shared together. But on the evening that we arrived in Harpalu, we spent the evening talking late till the night with Nani. I had brought some of my family photos and shared some stories about our history with Nani, because I also wanted to tell her what my family is about, and I could really tell that that's what she appreciated a lot. This is Nani. She is Vinod's mom's mother. She has five daughters and one son, and Vinod's mom is the eldest. As the only living grandparent, Nani is the family matriarch. Even though she initially thought me being a foreigner meant I was from Bihar, to me Nani still comes off as a quite modern, very sharp and open-minded lady. I can see where Vinod's mom gets her best qualities. Before it gets too dark, I just really want to show you guys uh, my nanny's house because it is so nice here. We have this inner courtyard space for social gatherings. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Vinay. And you're on class? My, my class name is second. Yes. Do you have a favorite subject? Subject? Math. Math. Oh, you will be very smart. Definitely the smartest person here, Vinod included. So here we do the social gatherings and have the rooms for different functions all over the place. And here is the outdoor kitchen where our early dinner is cooking. Which uh, mommy, mama's wife is cooking. Yes, we have a guide here. Kitchen. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So here we have all the utensils, gas stove, also a fridge. But this is where the cooking happens. What are we having today, Vinay? Yeah. Uh, kia kana. Kia kana. I thought kia kanga. Kheer. <laughs> Rice. Kheer is the dinner. Rice and milk. Rice and milk. Mm. He knows what is included in my favorite dessert. And then we have alu gobi and dal. My favorite food. <laughs> you know what? It is also my favorite food. Mine. Also mine. <laughs> okay, yours. You get to have mine too. <laughs> now I fear I have to give my kheer to him. This is mommy, Vinod's uncle's wife. 
She's originally from the Haryana border side, so she has the rare talent of making traditional Haryan v Malpua, a deep fried pancake. Mami is a very good cook and I was really impressed by her dari designs. But most notably, even with her slight figure, she is strong like a bull. Ovinod, mm. there is a stone and the thing, mm. so even I can roll one. Mm. <laughs> You can say that Vinod taught me how to make And who's filming now? Vinay. So it is Vinay's vlog now. Yeah, you want to sit on this? Sit on. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Due to the language barrier, there aren't too many ways for me to express to my Indian family that in addition to cherishing my own Finnish culture, I also want to learn as much as I can about Indian culture. So when I first moved in with Vinod, I spent several days practicing for the ultimate Indian Bahu test, making a perfect round roti. First to impress Vinod's mom and now finally Nani too. So how was it? <laughs> the scarf was dropping on my face the whole time. <laughs> Why is he so hot? A little challenging to sit like that. Oh. But. Did you burn yourself? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> He'll just continue the same way. I don't think there's anything that can like throw him off. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> Let's go check. Dar, Dar is here. Huh? Dar is. This is uh, the, what they made. Like the, the bed, like uh, my mama and uh, hmm. mama Pratik and mama. Hmm. Okay, so this is, he is the one who has made this. This is Pratik who is the youngest child and second son in Mama's family. I was truly impressed to hear that he makes daris with his mom and charpoys with his father. Alright, it's done. Are you sure about the career in police force? He wants to be in police force. Mm. Mm. This, this is what, uh, even the uh, ropes are made by hand, oh. by my mama. So, so it's a complete family work. Yes. So this is from old clothes. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Uh. Yeah, the old uh, clothes that he tears mm. makes ropes out. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, <laughs> Mama. Then my girl, like tomorrow he'll show us how to make this. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is so nice too. This is dari, right? Yeah. Everything is mm. All these are mm. mm. oh. And this is from rags, like old clothes. Mm. It, it is so sturdy. Oh, here design. Oh, yes. I love the designs. This is yeah, I love these designs. Even this is made of old clothes. Old clothes. Old clothes. It's so. Yeah, it's very sturdy. Even out of sheep. Yeah, this is for used for camels. Yeah, for camel carts. Tractors also. This is Mama. Vinod's mom's only brother. So after Nana died, he has been the man in the charge of the family and the farming. Opposite to the Haryan V stereotype and appearances, Mama is actually a very kind, helpful family man and very proud of his self-made ropes and charpoys. He is amazingly talented at that. Bobby.
दाल खीर रोटी विद घी अभी अभी मैं खाना खाती हूँ The traditional diet in this region is a rather limited one. Mm, Lots yes. of wheat and dairy in many different forms and very less sabzi. My family actually admitted they wouldn't have brought me here earlier when I still had insensitivity to both of those ingredients. But now that I'm fine, we all could appreciate the food we have and sharing it with family like you always do in the villages. And thankfully, mommy also made me tons of aloo gobi. Mm. Tasty. Mm. tasty. Very tasty. Very tasty. <laughs> It takes a whole village to raise a kid, must be an Indian saying, and also include a few other villages and all the gazillion cousins in the extended family. It's pretty rare to have all the kids in the same family at home at the same time in the villages. They'll be visiting some distant family at another village, but some visiting cousin will always make up for it. Mamas, sons, mamas, son. <laughs> And that is all I can say about it. <laughs> it's like, it's like seriously higher math to me. I have to like... Yeah. <laughs> This is family in India. This is considered... Yes. <laughs> This is your close family. <laughs> And we have never met before. That's... <laughs> Mama also has two more children, a son and a daughter who is the eldest. They weren't at home when we visited Harpalu, but attending a wedding in a nearby village. He's filming me, so I'm filming him. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Oh my God, I had such a good sleep. We went to bed quite early, and now we are awake at 5 a.m. when also the nearby temples uh, puja music started, and uh, I feel so rested and just happy to be here. Uh, I wasn't filming many clips yesterday uh, because I wanted to concentrate on meeting our extended family first, especially meeting Nani and spending time with them. Uh, and then because I got so overwhelmed by the fact that apparently everyone just like knew when we were arriving that it was us and uh, immediately when we got out out of the car uh, the whole like uh, courtyard and the rooftops around it filled it filled with people and thankfully I was able to greet Nani for the first time with uh, with some privacy there but just in a couple of minutes uh, our whole house basically filled with uh, women visiting so uh, Being in the middle of like new people uh, who are speaking only Haryanvi was a little bit overwhelming, and uh, but yeah, it wasn't uh, as bad as uh, people there behind the screen might uh, think because there are absolutely zero cases of COVID in this area, so it's quite safe. And anyways, I'm just happy to be happy to be here and enjoying this life and my morning cup of chai. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, the heat that we're making. So this is now that we have electricity, but then if there's no electricity, Nani uses this method, ropes here. I don't understand quite <laughs> perfectly how you put those around, but then you just pull those and keep like, oh. Yeah, yeah, ah. Life in the rural villages is pretty much about making everything yourself, from milking the cow or buffalo to making dahi, ghee and everything else for the whole big joint family. It's a lot of hard physical work that takes up most of the day. You can see that it's a workout. Now this must be my lucky morning, because just see what I was gifted. All of this here is 
Guy that I will be getting to take to Kerala with me and it is only for me, like of course for me and the baby, but Guy is a very important part of pregnancy and post-delivery in India. It's a ritual, basically. <laughs> So you can see the sun is finally rising, so it's time for my third cup of chai. And here we have the breakfast or brunch, whatever you will, cooking. Nani and mummy are making dal and everything else that is needed. And there we have the kitties. So this is like third or fourth generation uh, cat family that we have here. Now we have all the buffaloes here outside enjoying life already. Uh, during winter time they sleep there in the uh, inside. Oh, and here we have the... What's the... Uh... Oh my god, so cute you are! What is the uh, word for... Cough. Huh? Cough. Cough. Oh, what a cutie. Ooh. Yeah, Anar. Mm. And they're trying to grow pollock and stuff, but the peacocks come at night and then they eat mm. all the baby plants. Mm. And the soil is also not very fertile, that's why it looks uh, yeah. It's very difficult to grow stuff here. Yeah. Mm. This is on the Rajasthan it, side. Yeah. yeah, it's very, uh, like I've been telling Vinod, it's uh, quite similar to Finland uh, because the women are more sturdy and strong willed here, but also the land is uh, like a bit similar as like the conditions are harsh and it's like a bit difficult to grow anything. So you have to like really work or what do you get? We visited Nani's house in between sowing and harvesting times, which is a very less busy time for our family. When they don't go to the fields, they have a lot more time for pleasurable pastime, like making daris and charboys, smoking hookah, he doesn't like me. <laughs> and taking even better care of the animals. Yeah. You can take it there. Drink water. <laughs> It's so strong for even such a small car. Oh yes. I can't even imagine how strong you are. Mm. Come, come, come. Our visit must seem very leisurely and fun, but farming life is a very hard work, especially in these hard conditions. So, uh, is this the like uh, the bull or just mummy buffalo? Yeah, it's mummy buffalo. Like that's okay. why you were milking it. Why would we milk oh, it? Oh yes, this was the one that was getting milked. Yes, mm. <laughs> the bull wouldn't take care of them, like why would we keep bulls? <laughs> Last crop wasn't a good one for mama, but thank goodness our family still has yeah, Nana's to pension to fall back on during the roughest times. But this is why the sons in the region's families aren't usually encouraged to take up on farming, but they're all competing for the few police or defense posts there are. Yeah, yeah just leave it, like, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. It's a hard life, hard work, <laughs> but at least you always have your family around. <laughs> nope. Was it fun? Professional? Taking your pet <laughs> buffalo. The milking might have happened even before we woke up. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to wake up early, especially because I wanted to mm. get to try milking. Mm -hmm. Well, I was too late. Mm -hmm. 5 a.m. I was late. No, be careful. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the bull. Mm. So that is the bull. Mm. Obviously, that's the mm. buffalo. Do you take uh, with the bull? Do you take the uh, these off? No, it's the small horns. Ah. It's a very young bull. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so this is how we do the morning wash in the villages. Thank goodness I get to wear a scarf around my hair mm. uh, in this area because uh, I'm not gonna wash my hair here. But at least I'll have something to cover the dirty hair. And, yep, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 
we're about to reach breakfast time and I'm gonna show you something really special here. So, our mom is little? making malpua, a traditional Haryanvi a sweet dish. And in this kadai here, she will be frying the malpua in ghee. And considering that currently we are technically on the Rajasthan side, so people here don't uh, really know how to make malpua, so they always come and ask her how to make it. Uh, uh, atta, dood, or chini, uh, pani. Pani. Uh, pani, chini, atta. Okay. You can't eat it. 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 See there, we not already dug into his. Piping hot. Mm. See, it's like so soft and doughy in mm -hmm. the middle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like malpua? Yes. yes. Which one is better, malpua or kheer? <laughs> No, no. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like finished pancake, but mm. it's just deep fried. Mm. So good for the weather. Mm. Oh, as the women making. Mm. Leaving this place behind for now. Oh, it was such a wonderful day here and to meet all the family on uh, mommy's side. Oh, and here we have Haryanvi tradition, hukka. Oh, this is very beautifully made. This is a tradition hukka. How to say bye? Bye. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. <laughs> and from now on, this will be Vinay's vlog. He will be sending videos for us from now on. Right? And I think Vinay brought his friends to say bye to. Hello! <laughs> Crowded car. Uh -huh, really <laughs> oh. By any Indian standards, there's still a lot of space left in the car. <laughs> and <laughs> we wanted to take Vinay with us because I think he's the most interesting thing on my channel from now on. Mm -hmm. Have a camel there! And of course everyone looking at us. We are going for a temple visit now here in the village and I have to say that I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable with all the crowds here because everyone is just gathering and stopping and staring at me, which is to be expected, but I want to get back into the car soon. Let me correct my words. Not a temple, village tree. <coughs> which is also a temple. <laughs> Such a spiritual attitude.
and we have completely forgotten about the masks now. <laughs> no corona here. Zero. Guide <laughs> 